Hey everyone, and welcome back to Shadyside Library. So, the last time I filmed a Richard Lehman video, you guys loved it. So, here I am, back with another Richard Lehman video. But this time I'm going to be showing off my collection. So, just about any time I see one of his books at a used bookstore, I pick it up. I don't know why. The guy intrigues me. His writing is absolutely absurd. I mean, it is some of the most just weird, horror, horrific fiction out there. I, I'd call it extreme horror for sure. But if you haven't read a Richard Lehman book, you kind of just have to read it to experience it. But it's it's just pure insanity. That That's how I'll leave it. But um, I, I got a new bookshelf for Christmas. And so I've started to organize my books. And I really want to show off those bookshelves. They're almost ready. And I also got a book cart. So I've cut a book cart here. Uh, next to me with all the books um, from that shelf. So it's nice because I can just wheel it right into my room and then show off the books. But one last thing before I start showing the books is uh, I believe um, uh, Kelsey from Slime and Slashers is doing a year of layman where her and a, a bunch of others are reading one Richard Layman book every month and I think I might want to participate and read along and uh, there's no better time to do it because I've got a ton of his books so I would recommend checking out her channel I believe there's a list somewhere on which ones they'll be reading each month and discussing but sounds like a fun time because every now and then maybe once a month I get the urge to pick up a Richard Lehman book and just completely turn off my brain and read some pure insanity because that's what he writes. All right, enough babble. Let's get to the books. I haven't read a lot of Lehman, but y'all will have to let me know which one of these I should be reading. Uh, the first one is going to be The Stake. Uh, there are some pretty good covers in here, I must say. All right, next up is going to be In the Dark. And these are all paperbacks. Uh, I don't think there are any hardback layman books. I have never seen one of these. Uh, Into the Fire. Interesting. A lot of these just sound so similar, and I think some of them are kind of similar. Um, I've heard decent things about this one. This one's Dark Mountain, one of his shorter ones. Yeah. Ooh, then you have Bite. I, I do love some of these titles. I mean, they're simple, but like, Bite? I mean, it's just, ah. Uh, and there's probably actually a lot of biting in it. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, Resurrection Dreams. Ooh. This one looks sinister. Come Out Tonight. What else we got? Oh yeah, I remember picking this one up and being like, yeah, I've definitely got to grab this. I thought it was Guts at first, but I think it's Cuts. Either way, I mean, those go hand in hand. Here's a popular one. It's really long, but I've heard good things about Island. I think this is one of his better pieces of work. And maybe it has actually somewhat of a plot compared to some of his others. But yeah, that's a uh, island. This is probably his most popular book, 
to be honest, that people are most familiar with, and I would like to read it. And that's the traveling, the traveling vampire show. So, that might be one I dive into soon. As you can tell, I I actually have a lot of his books. He he has written like before he passed, unfortunately. Uh, I think he wrote like thirty six. So there's a lot out there. Uh, here's here's Blood Games. Okay, next up, The Lake. I want to say this is one of his last. I'm not sure exactly when he passed away, but uh, there is one book that's towards the very end. This is November 2005, but there is one book that he never got to finish that someone else finished for him. And it could be The Lake, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. And I, I definitely don't have all 36 of his books. But if I ever see one at the local bookstore that I don't have, I pick it up. Ooh, this is a good one. This one I hear a ton about, and it's Savage. A lot of, like, top ten lists put this one at the very top. This one's always, like, drew my attention because it's got the Ouija board on the front, and that's Darkness Tell Us. Definitely want to read that one, just because of the cover, purely, obviously. Now, this one I have read. This is The Woods Are Dark. Probably his shortest book, but absolute, absolutely pure chaos. I mean, no plot, just pure insanity and full of trigger warnings, but entertaining. I mean, horrifying, gross, disgusting. I mean, pretty much what you get with Richard Lehman. I'm not sure I could ever handle more than one Richard Lehman a month, but uh, next up, Endless Night. Okay, I have also read this one. This was my first layman book I ever read, and this is Night in the Lonesome October. Not as insane as the other one that I read, but still just weird. Definitely just weird. It was, it, it lacked a plot, but uh, had some entertaining moments. I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I mean, it it's weird and it's somewhat entertaining. I would maybe go with a different one. Uh, next up, One Rainy Night. I like that one. I like the cover on that. Rainy nights just sound sinister. So I would like to eventually collect this whole series, but I think he wrote a little series called Beast House. But this is Friday Night in Beast House. And I don't think this is the first book. I, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Y'all will have to let me know down in the comments if Beast House is like a series and how many books are in it. Oh gosh, Body Rides. That cover is just unappealing. Yeah. I don't know. I, I wonder where that one goes, what direction he takes that one. Okay, No Sanctuary. Interesting cover here. Sometimes his covers have to do with the books sometimes they they just they're just to 
get you to buy the book. All right, and Among the Missing. I hope I don't have any duplicates in here. I have so many, I feel like I've shown the same ones, but I, I think these are all different. And then finally, this is the last one, is To Wake the Dead. Now my quiz for you guys is, are you able to name one that I don't have? Because I have so many, but off the top of your head, can you name one that I'm missing? I mean, I have so many of them, besides the Beast House books. Okay, now time to try to film a thumbnail holding all 20 something of these. No, I'm, I'm just kidding, I, I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but I hope you all enjoyed seeing my Richard Lehman collection. Let me know what you've read, uh, what you plan to read, and if you're participating in Kelsey's little um, year of Lehman. And I gotta say, I'm, I'm prepared. I've, I've got plenty of his books. So that's my Richard Lehman collection. I'm gonna try to start doing more collection videos. Now that my books are organized and I've got them all on a shelf, uh, I might start doing tours by author, but I do really want to do the bookshelf tour. So hopefully y'all watch till the end and enjoyed seeing all my layman books. Thanks for watching as always. I know I just said that, but peace out guys. See you in the next one.